Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials. That is COBOL Practical Tutorials. Today in this video I would like to share you about move statements and its importance and also about the level numbers which we are going to use it. So understand the move and level numbers are very very important for a COBOL programming. So let's go ahead and see how to use it. So before I connect to the mainframe terminals just I want to say like what is move? Move is to copy a data from one variable to another variable or from one value passing for data from one value to another value and level numbers you'll be seeing practically by connecting to the terminal. So as we all know that level numbers so we have from 0, 01 to uh, 49 then we have special level numbers like 66, 77, 88 so they are different level numbers so in this tutorials I'm going to show you some special number and also few level numbers so let's go ahead and see by connecting to the mainframe terminal so here we go we are into the mainframe terminal so here is your uh, program of COBOL coding sheet so as usual program ID always start your program always starts with the identification division followed by the program ID then environment division and you give your comment so don't forget to give your comment this is very very important so why because uh, who the another program who is reading this program he has to understand what you have written about this COBOL programming right so then next come to the data division working story section in this working story section you are trying to declare many variables that is so 77 is a special number which is no also known as independent variable so it cannot be grouped it it is stands as independent elementary data name and it cannot be grouped with or associated with uh, any other associated with any other variable so that's the reason it called as an independent variable so this is one of the level number uh, here declaring ws a b c d and we have a group variable called ws a a b b c c and in another group we have WSAA, WSBB, WSCC so these are the different data types you have here and in procedure division you are trying to accept A, B, C, D values and what you are trying to do is move WSA to WSAA of group 1 since we have two groups so with the same variable names we need to be specific to which group you are sending so that's the reason we say it like so move WSA to move WSAA of that particular groups if you do not have any groups so don't specify this group just say WSD to WSC so that's it the, it get, uh, the data gets copied into that particular variable so finally I'm trying to display A, B, C, D and I'm trying to display group 1, group 2 so in group 1 you have A, A, B, B, C, D so, so here I try to move the value ws a to a a so it should display only a a value it should display b b it should display c c and it should display c c value okay so this is how the move program looks like so just to recap so move is used to copy a data from one variable to another vari uh, variable and uh, regarding the level numbers we have 0 1 to 49 and 66 77 88 are the special level numbers so in this video i'm covering two important level numbers that is a group level number a group and uh, another is independent independent variables so these are called as independent uh, uh, group all these group variable and these are sub sub variables 77 is elementary variable so you have declared here wp procedure division accepting i'm trying to move it and display it so so let's go ahead and compile this program okay what's the program name so what's the program name move so just give you a move name move uh, and move okay just compile compile your move program yes it ended with zero so in your cover program you're trying to accept one two three four four variables right so you need to write your run jcl so in run jcl you have to point it to your load library and you have to give your load member name that is your program name as you know mm, 
as you can see you have three four variables right so in run jcl try to enter four values okay so i'm trying to enter what's the data type right so a b c d so what is a a is uh, alphanumeric data type so i'm trying to enter some city or, or something called main frames okay main frame and what is another will b is x of 8 so i'll try to enter cobol okay then cd some values so 0 1 double 0 0 0 and 1 0 5 6 8 6 so so 5 and 8 okay so this is how we have we are trying to accept three way four variables and we are trying to display those four variables so using move submit ended with zero that goes to spool and check it so how it run and what is the output yes here you go here it is main train cobol these four or co four data are converged together and displayed it and that is a simple display statements okay that's how uh, with this the video ends for this particular practical tutorials. I will be coming up with more and more videos. Kindly stay tuned to my YouTube channels. So if you want to get an uh, alerts or notification regarding regarding the videos which I would be posting on YouTube, please subscribe to my uh, please click on the subscribe button so then you get subscribed and you will be getting a day to day updates or alerts about the mainstream tutorials which I would be posting. So if you like this video kindly please share, subscribe or comment on my video. I'll be coming up with more and more videos to get it more effectually. So finally thank you all so much for watching this video and have a great and pleasureful day.